Hello, it's Sheila from the Libraries and I'd like to make something with you today and today we are going to be making this. So it's just a container for any type of plant that you like. You don't need to have a plant in it. Um, I've got some herbs here, I've got some parsley that I've put into mine. Um, but you can put anything you like in. Uh, I'm going to show you how to make one for felt tip pens as well. So it's just a decorated container and the amazing thing is that it's probably made out of something that you've got in your fridge. If I turn it around, you might be able to guess what it is. It's from a milk container. So I'm just going to move that for a second so that you can see how we actually make it. So first thing we do is we get our milk container. I've got one here. I haven't finished this one, so I'm not going to cut it out. But I've just drawn on the shape that I wanted. And I'm going to make this into a cat shape. So I've got the two cat ears and all you do is you just start with a little knife, make a little cut and then cut all the way around. And so you end up with two pieces because we can actually make uh, two different containers out of the one milk jug. So if you just cut it, first of all, you probably will need an adult to do this, but um, just because you'll need to make a sharp um, incision, first of all, before you start to cut it. So you cut that out and you're going to end up with a shape like this and also um, you'd have ended up with your other shape which is this so the two of them could have sat together what we need to do now is we want to decorate the face onto this so um, cover it first of all with some white uh, white paint and I tend to use acrylics because the acrylics work quite well on the plastic because it's plastic so you just, I use a sponge, uh, just something that I've maybe got from the kitchen and I just dab on the paint and I leave it to dry. So I've done this one already all the way around and so it's really quite nice and white. So it's a, a clean canvas for me to then draw on. So I've got that ready. Let it dry completely before you try and do any detail because if you don't then your paint will run and your detail won't um, stay in place. I want to, I think I said earlier, I want to do like a little cat. So I've drawn out cat features on here and then I'm just going to put it inside so that I can see the face. So it's a bit like sort of tracing it out. You can do any sort of face that you like. Um, you could do a little mouse. So instead of having pointy cat ears, you could have just tiny little round ones or you might want to do a pig or anything like that. So I'm just going to put it like that and then I can just about see the features and then I'm going to draw them in. So I've got some Sharpie pens here, but any sorts of uh, felt tip pens will do. If I can get the lid off, that is. So I'm going to start and draw, uh, I'm going to draw in the eyes to start with. And then I've got a cute little nose. Some whiskers all cats of whiskers and so here we are I'm going to turn that around so you can see that it's already starting to look like a cat um my cat is going to have some eyelashes on it as well so I'm just going to give my cat some eyelashes and as I say you can think about all different types of animals that you might want to to decorate and make so there's mine and I'm just then going to add in some pink for uh, a little do a little pink nose um, just make sure I've got the lids on my pens so I'm going to draw in a little pink and also on the ears as well so I'm just going to draw some pink just going to color that in so it's like the little soft velvety inside parts of your cat's ear and the same on the other side as well and this container uh, because it's got quite a sturdy base uh, is actually going to turn into my pot for my felt tip pens because um, I've got them in something that's really boring at the moment. I'm just going to put a little bit of highlighter on the eyes as well to give them a little bit of colour. So just 
on the top of the eyes like that so you can see they tend to sort of uh, pop out a bit more when it's like that and then all you need to do is decide what you want to store in it as i say i've got my felt tip pens so my pens are now going to become my storage pot for my pens so all my pens are going to be in there and this one this is going to become a pot for my herbs and i'm going to keep my parsley in this one so two different containers out of one milk jug great recycling job i would say so hopefully you'll enjoy making your own animals and uh, happy making and i'll see you all soon so thanks for watching bye for now